Hi there. In this lecture, we see Hikaru Nakamura playing against Vichy Anand in the 2014 Zurich Chess Challenge. This is a rapid time control. Round two, B3 from Nakamura. We see E5. Bishop B2 and now D6. We see E3, Knight F6. D4. E takes D4. Queen takes D4. So black is giving white this semi-open default pressure. Is this dangerous? Is this an advantage? Knight c6, queen d2, bishop e7, knight c3, black castles, white castles, queen side. It seems like a very interesting, entertaining position in general, opposite side castling, if nothing else. a6, f3, which supports very aggressive moves like g4, b5, g4 is played, b4, knight c e2, a5. Black is actually weakening these light squares it's not just the king which needs to be considered there's another potential downside here we see knight g3 knight e8 and this is actually a big mistake so this tries to parry the bishop perhaps logically to try and weaken you know white's attack potential but black has weakened themselves on light squares a better move would have been knight d7 for example g5 is one of the better moves to try and strike open the g file and prevent things like bishop f6 so this situation is very dynamically interesting if we can get the dark square bishop we should be good to go from here even if it's technically about e equal from an engine perspective this is easy to play for white with that dangerous bishop if we play a casual move like h1 and allow bishop f6 maybe it's a slightly different story black should be fine more than fine so this is not desirable to allow that so okay knight e8 is played though now there's a key move here which gives white a big big advantage i wonder if you can spot it for 200 points white's play very very good move by hikaru nakamura being flexible in you know what are the downsides of black's position okay it's queen d5 yeah there's, there's a nasty thing going on here on the light squares we have bishop b7 and now the key point is bishop b5 this is a very nasty relative pin relatively painful you could say knight e5 is played if queen d7 then that's two relative pins and actually black's really tied up here i'll give you an example g5 what is black actually doing in this position the knight can't move without dropping the bishop if rook d8 you know black's just waiting to to be mashed basically there's no there's no real moves here for black black's just waiting to be mashed white's just going to improve and build up and, and just get a winning position now okay so you might wonder really what about knight e5 we just take on b7 and we're hitting the queen here there's no time for black to do that so yeah this is just tied up in knots so given this is the case, Vichy Anand decided immediately to break the relative pin, to rebel against it immediately. The bishop is taken, rook b8. So black's trying to get the bishop on b5, queen d5, knight f6. Trying to get this bishop on b5. But guess what Nakamura plays here? Maintaining a material advantage. And the song, <laughs> I'm just a material girl, somehow snapped in my head just then. Oh dear. Okay, so, uh, so what does white play? If you're a material, material girl or boy, what would you play here? Okay. Queen takes e5. Yes, d takes. Rook takes d8. Rook f takes d8. So material up. Bishop d3 and controlling key central squares. e5 under fire. We have bishop c5, e5 is taken, swapping for e3. Key me one, knight d5, knight f5, putting the pressure on, bishop d2. And actually, bishop takes g7, chipping black's king away, king safety. Knight e2, not minding d3 dropping here, because after c takes, rook takes d3. This is a rather sweet finish, king c2. Black resigned here, 26 moves. 1b3 against former world champion Vichy Anand. Yeah, this this is shows you know what a dangerous weapon because Vichy Anand will be loaded with tons of opening theory. It seemed Vichy was improvising and got a position which was a massive advantage for White 
after a key mistake you know in this position if it continued by the way you know rook d7 we're just going to pin here and in this situation we're going to play bishop f6 just nudging the defense away to take on d2 so this is why this is hopeless if rook takes f3 then we're just going to take the bishop and the checks uh, all the pins they're just harmless the king could walk over here and it's just harmless it's dominating the position so yeah a very very interesting game here indeed very very interesting in this variation so b3 e5 this is a bit of a rare bird compared to the knight c6 lines d6 and quite often, you know sometimes g6 is played but here we see knight f6 so black is really giving what seems to be an, an, a very interesting opposite side casting scenario at minimum this position seems just an interesting position away from standard opening theory very dynamic aggressive and yeah well you know why not play you know this is this is great that this got such a big advantage through a couple of reckless improvised moves uh, especially this one there's literally a weakness of the last move associated with that with great intentions to parry the bishop you know this is the sort of weakness of the last move we we really want to see you know from a super strong player it's got great intentions but technically there's a fact here that it has weakened d5 and if, if you look at like some of the most accurate world champions in history including this but also even going back to Laska, you know you have to maximize your use of the latest facts in the position and the weakness of the last move it is factually weakened d5 and how we celebrate that is going to dictate the strength of our results the stronger we can celebrate such things is the strength of our results and this really is a knockout blow you know at move 13 in effect this is a knockout blow this pin scenario it's incredible because blacks used up the a5 square so there's no knight a5 mechanism it's it's a very diabolical scenario indeed to be faced with that queen d7 just just gives black a paralyzed position and 95 just loses material so a fascinating game indeed a short and sweet game against a mighty opponent it's a fantastic advert game for 1b3 especially at faster time controls that is a true you know one of the killer applications especially where opponents are improvising they could be improvising in in a really really bad way but yeah it looks like a very logical kind of weakness of the last move where black was trying to play for bishop f6 to parry our, our cherished bishop so yes look out for you know opportunities like queen d5 okay thanks very much